Now, I do like a sweet or two, um, some kind of Milky Way, Twix, um, all that. And all these companies do a, uh, a cheaper version, don't they? These Audi companies and the Tesco's and Morrison's, they all do their own version. And um, I quite like them, to be fair. I'd rather have um, Morrison's own version of the uh, Snicker and Twix than the actual Snicker and Twix because... One, they're a damn sight cheaper. Two, they taste a bloody damn sight better as well. You know, it's just like it's the, the Tweaks and Mars and uh, Snickers and all that lot, they just seem to live on the uh, reputation of the name. When if people actually did uh, bother to try another one, they would be pleasantly surprised and um, probably buy them. But uh, there you go. So I've just been around uh, Audi. Uh, for this Saturday afternoon, I've uh, been doing a few jobs around the house and uh, we went Audi as a treat. And um, I found these biscuits. Biscuits. Uh, they are milkshake biscuits. Put my glasses on so I can read a bit more of the small writing. They're a crispy biscuit with a milk and cocoa cream filling. Uh, no artificial colourings, flavourings, or preservatives, which is all good. Which is all good. There are six individual in a pack, and I think this pack cost me around. It weren't a pound. I should rather like the price on again. Um, their ingredients are wheat flour, palm fat. Palm fat. What's that, folks? Is that that thing they're trying to? Is that that one that's killing all the orangutans and stuff? Bloody half time, look Leicester rubbish. Um, palm fat. Jump to butter and trans fat. It's a uh, highly saturated nature of palm oil renders its fats as use of um, palm fat. Should I stop eating peanut butter? Uh, no, uh, I don't know. Right, I don't know whether to continue with this review, folks, because I haven't got a clue if it's doing anything to the orangutans in that. I don't know. I'm trying to look it up on my phone. Palm fat vegan, what's that then? Vegans and vegetarians tend to be low and saturated, but they don't. If vegans eat it, if vegans are eating it, uh, if vegans are eating it, that's okay with me. All right? Not that I'm a vegan or a vegetarian, but if they're eating it, they're more conscious about it, and they are, they are more on the boil. Uh, apart from that place where they wanted to change that name, Wool, that village. And uh, apparently, Wool doesn't mean wool. It's back from a few hundred years ago, and it means something else completely, so they say. I don't know how true that is, but uh, there you go. Um, who's that coming in? I've already done it. So I just, uh, Mrs. Blue Van Man wants to turn down the pork, but I've already done it. Because I'm on the boil. Uh, before anybody asks, no, Mrs. Blue Van Man won't do these kind of things. She's not into this. Uh, she can't understand why people want to put their lives on YouTube. And to be fair to her, I understand that. It's only because I crave attention. So this is what it is. There's six individual packets uh, in the box, and they do fall out when you hold them up to a camera. Um, they're about the size of a dime bar. Those dime bars I did that I raved on about the other day, the mint dime bars, they were absolutely tremendous, them dime bars. Um, Bellamont biscuits. I've never heard of Bellamont. Belmont. Bellamont. Where the bloody hell did I put an A in it from? Bellamont. Sometimes I read what I want to read and it's not what's there. Uh, right, that's it. There's nothing really wrote on that packet, so let's pop this open. And I've broke the biscuit. Right, so that's what it is. Uh, is you can see that it is a biscuit. It looks a little bit like a uh, malted milk biscuit at the bottom there. Looks like it, but doesn't taste like it. It's just a nice crispy biscuit. And I 
Ooh. The filling is like hard milkshake. It's got that milkshakey taste. You can taste. Mmm. Right. Do you remember? You know the sweets you can get that are like milk bottles and it does taste like that. You get the little penny chews in like a, a milk bottle shape and they are called milk bottles. It tastes like that. And that's pretty much because that's milkshake, isn't it? Shake it and it's milk. They're really good. Mmm. Oh, wow. They're really, really good, folks. If you're going into Aldi and you want a little snack for your kid or yourself, get these. These are really good. They're tremendous. Really, really good. I'm going to leave that there, folks, because there's not a lot more I can say about that. But they are brilliant. Go get yourself some of them milkshakes. So that's a few reviews I've done today on Aldi. You can tell from the colour at the top, the top I'm wearing. They all come in things, but I do try to space them out and mix, mix, mix them up to try and um, make a variety of it. But uh, they're really good. So get yourself down Audi and get some of them milkshake biscuits. Laters.